clean with passion for now as a Korean romantic drama. Jang Sun Jae Yeol has wealth and good looks but suffers from severe misophobia. He is obsessed with cleaning and even owns his own cleaning company. However, he meets a carefree and untidy girl named Gil Osal after she enters his company as a new employee. Osal has worked all sorts of part-time jobs while striving for a full-time job and does not have the luxury to date or be clean. She gave up on being neat after facing the tough reality of the world and is known for always wearing her trademark tracksuit. But she has a bright personality and does not mind getting dirty. With the help of us all, Sun Jaya faces his misophobia and also falls in love with her. When Oh Saul came back home he brought a gift for Sion Jaiyal. She asked him, what was that? He didn't say anything, just told her to open it and see herself. Oh Saul continues, by any chance, do you have feelings for me? Before Sion Jaiyal can answer, Oh Saul tells him. I have to say this to prevent any misunderstandings. I have no interest in dating you. I have no feelings for you. I'd appreciate it if you could refrain from doing things that could be misunderstood. Sion Jaiyal has not forgotten his declaration to make Osal fall for him, so in the morning Osal finds him on the sofa, up bright and early and ready to spend time together. He sits her down on the couch while he attempts to make pasta. But, it's pretty clear that Sion Jaiyal has never cooked before in his life. After some weeks salt by imitation and the worst vegetable chopping efforts ever, Sion Jaiyal pulls out the already prepared plates that his cook left him in advance, ha. Huh? Oh Sol's nerves are high as she tries to eat, and she ends up nearly choking instead. She's got a piece of noodle on her face, and at first Sion Jaiyal goes for a napkin, but at the last moment, he forgoes it and reaches up to Osal's face, barehanded. After Rosal apologizes to Sion Jaiya for pretending not to know his feelings, his eyes open and he grabs her wrist. Sion Jaiya tells her, if you're sorry, I hope you start knowing how I feel from now on, and he leans closer to kiss her.
Oh Sol runs out at the last second and once she's in her own room, she asks herself, what should I do? In the morning, Oh Sol walks out of her room apprehensively, only to find Sion Jiayal waiting for her. Before Oh Sol can escape, Sion Jai Ea reminds her about breakfast and she busies herself preparing his meal. Once breakfast is ready, Sion Jai Ea asks So Sol to sit down and before she can say anything about the previous night, Sion Jai Ea asks, You've fallen for me, right? When No Saw stammers, Sion Jayal decides that he's right and suggests, Be my girlfriend, Gil O Saw. Sun is streaming through the bedroom window by the time Sion Jayal wakes up, alone. He remembers seeing O Saw the night before and runs out of his room calling her name. Sion Jaiyal doesn't notice that his place is clean and in perfect order and when Osal appears, he enveloped her in his arms. Relieved, he confesses, I was so worried about you. I thought something bad might have happened, and I was terrified. Sion Jaiyal takes a step back and with a pleading look asks, from now on, don't go anywhere without me. You have to stay right next to me 24 hours a day. Okay? A tear escapes from Sion Jaiyal's eye when Osal agrees, I will. I won't go anywhere. Let's be together 24 hours a day. This time, when Sion Jaiyal leans in to kiss Osal, she doesn't run away. As the sun shines behind them with the promise of a new day, Sion Jaiyal and Osal kiss. When they part, Sion Jaiyal reminds Osal, don't go anywhere. You promised me, and she readily agrees. I'll stay right by your side. Sion Jaiyal kisses Osal again as she wraps her arms around his neck. Osal prepares breakfast for Sion Jaiyal, who is only too eager to play up his helplessness for the attention. He tells Osal that he's too weak to hold his own spoon, and then as she offers him a spoonful, he gasps that it's too hot. When she stands up to get him water, he pulls her into his lap, ha. Huh? Sion Jaiyal hopes that Osal can linger a little longer with him, since he's missed her all day. Osal asks him to come closer, and then closer still, until she snuggles deeply into his arms. Sion Jaiyal is nervous about being seen at first, but he calms when he sees that Osal isn't concerned. As Osal eats, she asks if Sion Jaiyal would want to go to the movie theater on a date, but quickly realizes how stressful that would be for him and instead suggests a movie at his place. They settle into the couch together with some beers, but the steamy scenes in the movie and all that Ramy and innuendo has Osal nervous, especially when Sion Jaiyal suggests that she could stay the night. In her own room, he clarifies. Osal springs up to leave and rushes out the door. But she can't bring herself to leave, and as she turns around to face the door again, Sion Jaiyal swings it open, surprised to see her still. I'll stay over tonight, she tells him, and gives him a beck on the mouth. Their kisses become longer, and Sion Jaiyal hoists her up into his arms and sets her down on the kitchen counter both wrapped in each other's arms.